So uh, Ben, congratulations, national champion again. You've been to this tournament many times. Uh, got a new t-shirt there. It says Grandview on it. Talk a little bit about that. That was a big news story this week about you going back to wrestling college. Yeah. Um, you know, I was pretty bored during COVID and I thought it was really important for me to get my education. So I ended up applying to a school that was an NAI school that had wrestling and I ended up calling uh, the NAI and obviously I know, you know and to, to see if I had eligibility, you know, I called the uh, as soon as I saw that I had eligibility, I called Grant. I have a great relationship with, you know, the coach there that he's my, you know, Nike rep. So, uh, you know, I went out there and visited this week to see, uh, you know, how good a fit it would be for me. And, you know, it's just a perfect fit. You know, they have Milan, a Serbian national team member. That's, you know, a Greco coach. And not only will I be able to get my education so I can uh, go and end up coaching at a, high level and you know they have you know obviously a Greco program that Grant and Milan are trying to build and I'm just excited to be a part of that and hopefully be a, a leader for the next you know four to six years and you know bring back those national titles for Grandview. Be doing that folk style stuff though I know you you, you do freestyle you do Greco you do it, when's the last time you seriously competed in in folk style? I haven't wrestled in folk style since high school. Yeah, that's you know, what I thought. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been over, it's been over a decade. But, uh, I mean, honestly, being at Penn State and uh, being at Bucknell in college programs, I learned a lot there. And obviously, Penn State's you know, who they are for a reason. And, you know, just the lifestyle they live, the type of technique they have in folk style. I've, you know, I haven't done as well as I wanted to in Greco. But, uh, you know, I've definitely advanced as a wrestler being in those places and as a person but you had to wrestle some greco today tough tough opponents especially finals i mean talk about your performance in, in today's tournament and, and being able to get through and get get another uh, championship well you know obviously i went down to 77 at trials and uh you know i really worked hard for a year and a half to get, get on my diet and try to try to win and you know when i was at trials it my body didn't react to it. So uh, I had to come back here. I had, you know, I'm one of those people where if I have a bad taste in my mouth from something, I have to come back and, you know, get back in the wrestling room. You know, some people, my friends and family were like, oh, maybe you should take a break. And I mean, that was the last thing I needed was a break. And, um, you know, maybe my weight cut wasn't as good for this tournament, but it was really, you know, I just needed to get back on the mat. And I ended up wrestling Walsh, the guy that beat me at trials. And, um, it was nice to get a little revenge on him, but, you know, I've been, it's, uh, I've been training, you know, training with high schoolers for the last, you know, few, you know, few months, ever since Bucknell dropped me from, because of COVID. And, uh, you know, I'm lucky to have the Buffalo Valley Wrestling Club that uh, supported me. And, um, you know, but right now it's time for me to make a move and, you know, obviously being in the type of shape college people are and being in the type of, you know, having, Grandview and the Greco and, you know, folk style knowledge they have, I'm going to be in a lot better shape coming into next year. Uh, 184. Yep. Um, I mean, I'll ultimately, you know, I think my real goal, my dad was born in LA and I'd like to compete in LA in 2028. I think that's my goal. And since I didn't make this Olympic team, I haven't, uh, matched my coach Dennis Hall yet and the Mount Olympic teams. And I always said that was one thing that I wanted to do was uh, make more Olympic teams than my coach. And so if I got to go through 2028, you know, I'm ready. This is the best I've ever felt in my life. You know, my, my strength is bad. You know, I'm just, you know, maturing as an athlete and maturing as a person. And, you know, back when I was, I made a team in 2012 and 2016, you know, I, I think I could have done a lot more better, a lot better. And, you know, even though this year, didn't turn out the way it was. I know as a person and as an athlete, I did the best I could in every situation. I, you know, lived the best lifestyle that I've ever lived. And, you know, because even though it didn't work out, um, you know, it's motivated me to get, get back to it and hopefully keep this career going for a long time. Well, congratulations. Great wrestling today, Ben. And congratulations on, on your new situation, buddy. Thank you very much. Wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Be well.